Hey, what's that? So, on the city mask, right? What I thank DJ Workshop for renting us and lending us their studio and the lights and everything for this show. You know, that's how they do it every Wednesday. So, we got be DJ Workshop all the time. Nice. So, on another episode of Good Talk, you're Shudi Shayamun. I'm here with the incredible Ink God. Now, hear what now hear what I'm saying, right? The man have plenty names. You want to get into some names just now. Right? right, but right, right. now, thank you, boy, right away. Goodness, good for coming through and to come and bless us with this knowledge of ink. Ink, but before we get into that, before the incredible ink god, give us like a few of your, your nicknames. Nicknames, nicknames, nicknames. Where was straight from primary school? Nah, not a father. Then we get um, right before you start a tattoo. Before I start a tattoo, mm-hmm. was Taz. Taz. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Used to say I was this wild, crazy dude. Yeah, you were. Yeah. yeah. So, and so I did get a Taz name. Yeah. I get Waku somewhere around that time. Waku too. too? Yeah, boy. I, I remember Waku. Actually, had a tattoo on my hand. Yeah, Waku. That was one of my nicknames. But you wouldn't. Know nah, I know, no, no, no. Um, well, after that was Fido. I do remember Fido. Fido was from a competition I win like some years back, like you say back in the 80s. Like when, when you say Fido, like from the drink? Yeah, the seven up drink. Right. Yeah, that guy. So what a competition was about though? Was basically doing a, a design for seven up with the character. Oh, well you had to win that. Well, boy, I didn't even believe I did win it. True. <laughs> if I could only find that picture for you and show you mm. how I look in the newspapers when I win. You know what I'm saying? Because I it, it was like I was actually walking out. Mm. Yeah, I was like done out the door. I was like, yo, I done lost. True. This, this thing is making no sense. And while walking out, I hear them call my name. You know? So them timing are small now. You know? But <laughs> they were. Yeah. People could know. My left, my left was kind of long, so mm. you know, with that, <laughs> it did drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah. It did drop. Uh. You yeah. understand? Hold up. Oh, that you're for again? Mm-hmm. Well, I want to know. I never asked yeah, for no extra yeah. sound effects for the show. Yeah, I want to know yeah, who is yeah, this? Yeah. Oh, look, look. My, my apologies. Now, hold on. I show whoever calling this man know he on the show, eh? <laughs> oh, they know what you see? Oh, like, can I be calling him if any recording? How? Oh, God. How? Right. Oh, God. Back to f- yeah, back to feet, don't know. Right. <laughs> I don't remember that tattoo, man. Yes. True. True. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so within winning Fido um, 7 hour competition, mm. I tell you, I was like, wow. I didn't believe I could have win it. Because, well, I didn't even know they used to call runners up like that, too. That, that was like one of the first things I learned. Call the call runners up, like, okay, third place. Yeah, f- oh, yeah. They yeah. call second place, and then they call first place. So when they oh. call first place, I thought that was it. Mm. Then they said, the grand prize winner is, and then they called my name, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and you're already walking out. I walking out. I wow. walking out. Then I said my mom was unable to go with me, mm. so my teacher from school went with me. Right. Thanks to Mr. Robinson. Mm. Mr. Robinson, if you're alive, blessed love guy. <laughs> if you're alive. <laughs> son, favorite art teacher from Old Tech. My goodness. Yeah. yeah son, he was a teacher that actually helped support me in plenty of my endeavors. Mm. Help me to become who I is to today. Yeah. And uh, son, he was one of the people along the way, Mr. Robbins. Goodness, big up Mr. Robbie. Anyway, <laughs> Stan Robbins, big up yourself. Yeah. So the incredible in God. I want I would like you to give me like an insight on tattooing because I know abroad they have all these tattoo competitions and all these tattoo shows and stuff, you know. And now in Trinidad everybody should everybody like it, everybody doing it. No some people doing it for maybe a personal reason or some people doing it for style but what does tattooing mean to you 
Well, really and truly, I just say it's not a matter what it mean to me, you know, mm. right? It's what it should mean to anybody, basically. And as uncle, if you're going and take a tattoo, it's something that you're going and get on your skin for life. So you must be able to tell your story, mm -hmm. you know? I sure I could take off my clothes and show you each one, even though the old, it have a story behind it, whether it be funny, mm. something to make you cry, something to make you, you know, emotional. It, it's just a story. You know, so I should be able to tell your story in ink. Nice one. Ooh, tell your story in ink. <sighs> that should be a saying, though. Yeah. That should be a saying. I say so too. Nah, the man stated song powerful, eh? Mm, yeah, mm. <laughs> so I want to ask you like so right so now hmm, which one to attack first I want to get your funniest funniest client don't call no name eh? don't call no names don't call what the client was taking just say okay well when I took the needle and the gun they went ah oh <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I don't know how the tattoo thing does go. I just watch it on TV. So I want you to give me just give me any story. Any exciting story. Short story. Take a minute. I know you have plenty. Take a minute. Uh, it, it, it tell my minute, but none of them stories are short. <laughs> Alright. We just hit many things. Yeah. Uh, somebody who never sing in their life actually sing <laughs> you know we <laughs> this bay we <laughs> this bay you know yeah. people come everybody's different but mm. as I say according to what it is your purpose for taking the tattoo is, is how you actually take the tattoo because it's not painful it's not it's not really a painful process as long as you're doing it for all the right reasons. Mm. Right? That's why they say when you're taking a tattoo, make sure it's meaningful for you. If it's not meaningful for you, it's just gonna be a bunch of crap on your skin where you're gonna say, I get real pain, boy. True. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few people like that though. A few? I know a lot. <laughs> so, before the show, now we, we started late, as you all can see. We still running, right, DJ? So big up DJ Remy in the back. Oh, and the song in the background, uh, that's Tanya from that artist. I don't know. Uh, What's his name? Shay? Boom. Right? So as you all can see, the person for the tattoo is not here. Plus, so we had to do some other rearranging. So that's why we late. So while we were doing all that, I was told a story. Can I, can I tell you a story? This is the story when... The couple came in and um, oh. she wanted the thing on the thing and the whole size and she went and she printed the thing and she printed the thing and it was dripping. Well, that story funny yet still mm. is a true story yes. yet still mm -hmm. it could actually show you the true meaning yeah. of how powerful a tattoo is. So you want me you want me to tell it or you? Uh, I know if you were telling it in the right way but I might I might just skim through now but you guys just go really exciting part. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, listen. Hey, this story I was told while we was taking up, right? So a couple, a man and a woman, a man and a woman. The woman takes a picture of a man's junk because it's planned. I don't know who is watching, so I'm saying junk, and not when the junk is asleep, eh? when it's up and running. And um, she took where's, where's junk? You see, this is why I had to say the story. If he don't know his junk, I'm not saying it. If you want to say it, you could say it. Young people know what it is. Anyway, go ahead. Right. right. So, so she took a picture of the junk, went to a print tree, got it printed, scanned, printed, got it enlarged to the proper size. Well, he ain't what I'm telling you. Then they brought the picture of the junk, the big, well, they said it was on big paper, to the incredible in god and say i want this here and i was told it was what 
at the end of it of the junk was what is it is dripping you said it well i know it's junk but still don't know where to see that always Listen, listen. I I know I I don't have junk. <laughs> junk is rubbish. I know yeah. that what junk yeah. is. I don't know what you know junk. Uh, <laughs> all right. So what would you call it? Um, genital. All right. Cassava. <laughs> Eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> Better we go with junk now, mate. So. Eggplant. The egg eggplant. Everybody know eggplant. Right. The eggplant. Eggplant. That's some more TV. Right. 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 So, so the eggplant, eggplant that, that the wife, wife took the picture of, of and blew up, she got it dripping and she wanted it here on her inner thigh. It was just a wet eggplant. That is all. <laughs> right. So this is the extent people will go for a tattoo that means something to them. Yeah, but that is the whole thing. Now, just imagine she did that, and they are still together up to this day, which that is like about almost 25 years. And I was not going to ask that question. How long ago that was? Yeah, about 25 years. Wow. That is total dedication. Eh? Total, total, total dedication. Wow. So, about how long have you been? Ink it like I'm not talking about like when you now start on your thing and your thing. I talk about like when you decide, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to be tattoo artist in God. No one be going hard mm, about 30 years now. Ooh. The incredible in God is in the building 30 years and running. Wow, you can remember your first tattoo. Yeah, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. but that I wasn't licensed that time. That what I tell you, I don't want to know about oh. when I wasn't licensed, you know. Because before I even started tattooing as a licensed tattoo artist, I used to do bakaya tattoos. I know, you know, hand chuck, you know, you wrap up them needles and you did, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, we <laughs> under the house, you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> I remember them times, yeah. Remember. You know, all them girls come through, hey, I want to. <laughs> Yeah, well, from then to now, within doing it and doing it, I get to love it more, so it just makes me get more understanding to it. And this is why I just like to actually tell people, show people, mm-hmm. let them understand what tattooing is now. But tattooing have changed. I remember when back in the days when people see it with a tattoo, it'd be like, Oh my goodness, he's dealing with the devil. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Yeah. It was that serious at the time. It was that serious. Wow. People used to watch me like, oh my god, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and from then to now, how would you say tattoo that whole vibe and energy and how people just do it? How would you say it, it changed. Well, I'd say thanks to mostly the rap industry, <laughs> you know, that mm. helped people to kind of like get more into tattoos, but they still didn't get the full understanding of tattoos. Nice. So within tattoo being spread more like that, people actually get to get more acknowledgement about it now. Mm-hmm. So these way people now start to do research on tattoos. You know, so I always tell people, you know about Bakaya tattoos, but think before you do anything. Don't just rush. When well, you listen to the incredible Ink God, eh? huh. wow, 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 wow. All right. Um, you ever had anyone? No, people has always cover up tattoos. It's not a good question to ask. Normal thing, Co- normal thing especially yeah, now and yeah plenty of that now <laughs> cover-ups i want to cover up this and i had somebody call today and they was like he could cover up this on his show i was like i don't think i could ask him but i don't think a cover-up will be um well cover-up is actually had to like see it and 
oh. check on it and to make what could fit and oh. good size and all that drama. So stuff. he's not just watching and say, hey, I'm gonna yeah, just slap just that. Sh- no, 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 no. True. Mm-hmm. There's levels to this shit, man. Wow. I think it is just like, you know, I wanna cover this man's name. Yeah, right, right. I wanna change Kuhn to. No, well, you could get it, you know, you could get it, you know, you could even get as much as you just put a black strip on it. True. <laughs> wow. People as that? Yeah. Just put a black. black. Mm-hmm. People, all you need to know what the thing is about. Don't just run out there. Mm-hmm. Right? So, Jay, I want to ask you, like, what is your worst experience tattooing somebody else? Like, worstesis. Is worstesis a word? Worstesis is not a word. So, your worstesis experience. Now, you will make me have a look for words to give you because I never even hear that word myself. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Good Talk, where we make up words. <laughs> nice. So, alright. Yes. Something that wow that really happened. What? Huh? Um, I can't say I had any worst moments because all mine was mostly funny. True. Alright, All right. you're funny. Yes. Um, uh, one main thing people need to know that before you do a tattoo, you must make sure you have a proper meal before you take a tattoo meal so yes a meal kfc or oh. a, a meal a meal definitely not snacks good right? not KF- a KF- kfc is fine too but mm. you don't want to eat no one piece and some fries and say no. eat a meal you need to eat something what could be like heavy you know cool yeah yeah it's a whole year Ooh. so let's say um yeah client you come in for your first tattoo yeah eat and you really you let hype and you frighten and all that so mm. all that going on work with you too eh? and but from them i start the first line you fell <laughs> 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 okay 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 No, no, no. I didn't mean to laugh. No, 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 but but I didn't mean to laugh either. But yo, the thing was serious. The thing was serious. Fall, fall. I'm telling you now. Now this why I just need to put chairs when by you now all that make me learn that you see within tattooing, mm. you need all your tools. Facts. If you know you need this chair for this person to sit down on, get the chair. You understand? Because if you don't use the proper thing, mm. shit get up now. Right? So I didn't use the proper chair. Um, but we, we actually wasn't in the studio, it was our house call. Mm. So I went by the person and we was doing the tattoo. We were sitting on a chair like this. And a chair just like this. So you know, it's like I'm doing the tattoo. I'm going to set, set up everything, going to do the tattoo. And as I touch him with it here, and I spin the guy, wipe the wipey hand. He went forward. He gone when he turned back. And and he was on the ground with his head in the concrete. So when you turned back, he was gone. He was. Yeah, he was out cold. I had to like watch for three minutes, be sure. No, well, <laughs> no. I thought he was joking. No, how it happened? It looked like a joke, yo. <laughs> so yo, <laughs> yo, yo, this dude went down in slow mo. Hold on, man. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So you let me know, right? So this is the man here. Don't prep your thing. And while you here, homeboy falling in slow. All right, all right. Picture you, you look away, you look away. You, right. you use him, right? Right. And I, no, you use me. Right. And I'm him, right? So you look away. Not right. they tell me because I don't want to see because I'm not going to look away. Right. <laughs> you you, you let me tell me. So, right. I, so, right. I, so, I, so, I, so I now come on. Hand here, yeah, yeah. right? Come on, and I do, and, right? and then no, dress no. back, and yeah. as he dressed back, like he gets wet, and he did this, and as he came forward, he went like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said? 
he stayed in that position for like a, a couple of seconds but i was like i wasn't sure because he went down in slow mo true it wasn't fast or anything i don't ever see nobody i see people fall but this is the first they like this one was real humorous he went in slow mo it's scratching me right now like what? now i did not time to catch him because the gun, was, yeah, in, you, 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 the gun was in my hand no the gun was in my hand so it was a choice drop the gun and catch him no 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 i couldn't drop no nah, i couldn't why no but i didn't mean to it. no but he <laughs> mean to <laughs> he apologized <laughs> he he's sorry yeah that no, why, that why i get the correct chairs and stuff now yeah but yeah. still trial and error trial and error it happened. Wow. <laughs> wow. Who is that? The man fall. Um, let's deal with the ladies now. So, how many ladies can you count took a tattoo um, I don't want to say on the chest because see plenty thing on the chest. Let's say where babies are born, around that area there. Okay. <laughs> um, what was supposed to be the figures? Uh, no, like, or like, or like, um, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, how like, much people? Like, how many? Of the top of your head, you don't it have to be. You don't have to be an exact exact number because it can't. It's nah, thirty years, eh? Nah, but yeah, but thirty years, you do really. You're going and get everybody doing that. True. You know, so it's easy to come. So yeah, it's like about five, five. Yeah. And your. <laughs> no, because in my. Don't tell me you're gonna ask that. Yeah, but is that self I gonna ask? Because with vibration, right? I plead the fifth. Let us <laughs> ask you the question first. Nah, I, I can skip that question. Nah, I want to say it though. You can play the fifth up because I know, right? Right? Common sense, should let you know. With vibration around that area, it causes some kind of dampness. So I would like to ask the incredible ink god in all his years and those out of those five people have you ever experienced that darkness while tattooing that area every time Every time. No, no, but as you say, is a is a proven fact. Like, yeah, yeah, but that was same because I had to I had to find out now. Not like a choice in the matter. So next, next question. question: Any of these five people came with their significant other, male or female? It don't don't matter to me. You come, they came together, couple, to get that done there, and that happened. Yeah. And the significant other, normal. Well, it had to be here because the car stopped it. And they're supposed to know because that is common sense. Yeah. Facts. Right. I always wanted to know now, boy, because I've never heard, no, I heard one, one woman telling me she wanted, she always wanted to do one day. But she afraid the pain. But again, as you said, if it doesn't mean anything, yeah, you'll be studying the pain and all that, etc., etc., etc you know that's just from my experience mm. yeah. wow every time that's just from my experience right 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 right, right. now i'm not the only statue artist in the entire world mm -hmm. so it's obvious everybody will have their own different experiences and facts. All that stuff. facts 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 so deal with, deal with guys now no. it's the last, last question, question yeah? yeah then i'll go in and let jason educate all you yeah? on a few things and then you got ink up somebody i tell all the original person isn't here i never told you all you didn't have anybody to ink eh? okay nice so do you know the guys now you ever had like a school man 
school man like you know when you're I don't know. Well, let's understand. These are questions I always wanted to ask. Right? I will hear what to do. I will do one next show with him, and you all could send me questions, and I'll ask him. But right now, this is for me, you know. I just do this for me, you know. I need to know. So, I let you. So, here I say, this big man, Jim. Six pack. He has abs on top of his shoulders here. Proper. He come down. Give me something. Big day, brother. All right, sit down. Yeah, but yeah, something like that. I have to ask. Well, you are me looking to ask you if you ever take a tattoo. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't really like tattoos. I don't really fancy it. You know? Well, it don't have to be as bad as I describe it. Eh? Yeah, well, alright. Um, I don't remember everybody threshold different. Mm-hmm. Right, so it have people who will take it differently to some. Some will squeal, some will just do nothing, some will bite the teeth, some will squeeze the hand, some will sweat in the hand. Yeah, so everybody different. So it's just a matter of their pain tolerance. Hmm. So all screamers out there, all flinchers, if you know your tattoo doesn't mean anything, don't take any chain up to go and take any ink. All right? good so jay i wanna ask you to leave if you can leave the public with anything positive about ink and tattooing and all these things what would it be take a minute <laughs> um, basically don't just jump at anything look for what it is you want think about it um to just wrap at everything that you find look nice mm. because sometimes it might be something for you every tattoo have a meaning every single tattoo has a meaning whether it be a line a dot an exclamation mark mm. right so you need to do research on whatever it is you're taking on your skin um, you need to research on your artists. Yes, and um, I mean to say, I was a Bakayar artist at mm. once. I'm not saying that we don't give Bakayar artists a chance, but if they really want to be an artist, they will improve themselves yeah, as course, an artist so that they could be at our level. All right. Um, right. Basically, yeah, why can I tell them? Do, do drugs, stay in school. That too. <laughs> well, they stay in school and listen in school. And listen, you see this online school thing? Here, well, I know. That is for next show, eh? That is too much. Here, well, I know. That is too much. Huh. I feel like you do one on, on, on the online school. And so, this is part, this has been part one of Good Talk. Because if I continue the live, you won't get ready to get to see much stuff. So we're gonna restart the live. Do what he said quick. And then get back snapping with some ink. Oh, 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 the tagline is though. Tell your story in ink. Correct is right. Cheers. Yeah, boy. So, let's share the live. We'll be right back.